Redemption for the Oregon Ducks, although they can't be thinking about that, cannot afford a slip off if this team wants to make it to a college football playoff spot. They're hosting an Arizona team that took care of business in Tucson against them a season ago. Mike Am and Yogi Roth with you coming off of a bye. Issues on defense. Can Arizona, have it, they got any chance to slow down this Oregon squad? Yeah, for sure. I mean, think about them in this stadium, right? There's some great memories, right? Sure. Like Scooby Wright and Marcus Mariota, you can go back in time. <laughs> Bottom line for them, they got to start really fast and they got to create, create and generate confidence early. I'm talking about an early pick, an early turnover, something, because Oregon is physical, Mike. They are going to try to just pound the football. When you go back to the point of redemption, last year, that was the worst game I saw all season long on film. Everything that could go wrong did go wrong for the Oregon Ducks against Arizona on the road a year ago. So I, I, they're going to play focused football. So Wildcats need to try to generate some turnovers, some early momentum. We always talk about Oregon's offense. and You just mentioned turnovers and creating one from an Arizona defensive perspective. That's all Oregon has done this season. 17 interceptions leave the country in that total. If they create a turnover early, like are we talking once again about a quick switch with Khalil Tate and Gunnell and, and They've been going back and forth these last couple of weeks. Like I'm concerned about consistency on that side from that position. Well, here's the reality. They got to win two of their last three. Sure. It's not only Oregon, but then it's Utah before the Territorial Cup. So it doesn't get much easier, right? You could you know, argue about that if you want. Who's, who's the better, more difficult team to compete against? Bottom line is, I think Khalil Tate and Grant Cannell are going to be part of the game plan, right? They're going to split series. And Khalil Tate, I think, gives them their best chance to win these next two games because of his legs. No, it's not going to be easy because both teams, Oregon specifically, they're going to rush wide just like they did two years ago in Eugene in that game, right? There was a lot of implications in that ball game, and they stayed so wide. They were like, hey, Khalil, you can go anywhere, but you're not going outside of us. Their defensive line will be literally Jalen Jelks sprinting to the sideline to make him cut it up. They're going to have a similar approach even though they have a different defensive coordinator, but Arizona's chance to me is big plays, running lanes, Khalil Tate being special sure. Khalil Tate. If he can do that, they'll have a chance in this ball game. But just line and play straight up, it's big advantage for you. All right, a recap of the game, some of the crucial moments, not to mention what it means for the Ducks if they pick up a win in terms of the college football playoff standings. A couple of topics that we will be discussing end of the night on Final Score on Pac-12 Network. You don't want to miss it.